Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be giving you some tips and tricks about organizing and composing the results section of your research manuscript. So, to start off, let's talk about the goal of the results section and how it's different from the other sections of your paper. Your goal with the results section is to communicate and describe the main findings of your research without interpretation. Your discussion section is where you will share your interpretations of your data. In the results section, you can also provide more information about the measurements of your data, variables, treatments, and statistical analysis. Basically, you're giving information about what you found from your methods, which will include your research data and summaries. Let's dive into how to organize the results section. One of the first ways to begin organizing your results section is based on the importance of the results in relation to your primary research questions. You want to focus on showing the important results that truly support or reject your hypothesis. Your least important data can be included as supplemental materials when you're submitting your paper to a journal. So, once you've identified your most important data, the next step is to start prioritizing them based on that level of importance. Here, you'll want to focus heavily on the information that directly relates to your research questions using subheadings. And when it comes to organizing your subheadings, you'll really want to mirror your method section. These subheadings will primarily detail your major findings within each important experiment. And the information in each of your results subheadings will probably contain some combination of text, figures, and tables. One of the ways to organize your results subsections are as follows. This comes from the book Writing in the Biological Sciences by Angelica Hoffman. Structure your paragraphs based on your experimental purpose, your approach, and your results. An important distinction we need to be clear about when considering the results section of a paper and its elements is differentiating between data and results. Data is raw information collected from your research. Your results, on the other hand, are statements that summarize and explain your data. While these are different components, your results section would need to include both data and results. Some other differences between data and results are, data are facts, often numbers, that come from experimental observation. For example, the temperature at which a color change was observed during an experiment. Data can be presented raw or summarized as a mean and standard deviation, or it can be transformed, for example, as a percentage. Usually, data cannot stand alone. Results are the meaning of your data. Results will be statements explaining or summarizing what your data show. Results statements might have indicators such as direction. For example, decrease, increase, tenfold, and 50% increase. Results might include statistical significance. So, for example, data might be documenting the temperature points at which a color change was observed in each sample, whereas a result would be a statement explaining, for instance, that the temperature for color change to occur was significantly higher in one strain versus another. The results might give a summary of the count of one strain versus the other, along with a p-value. Once your information is prioritized, outlined, and organized, you can begin drafting your results section. Here are a few writing tips that you might want to consider when it comes time for this step. Direct your reader to the research data and explain the meaning of the data. This goes back to that differentiation between results and data, and they both work together. Next, avoid repeating similar text or using similar sentence structure to explain other data. Write and highlight your important findings. Mirror the same order as the subheadings for your methods section. Match the results with the research questions from your paper's introduction. Make sure there is no mismatch in the table numbers or the figure numbers in your text and in the figures and tables. Only present data that supports the significance of your study. You can provide additional data in the form of tables and figures as supplementary materials if needed. A few writing tips to keep in mind when including tables and figures are include a caption, do not use abbreviation in table tags or your figure legends. Make sure your table titles in your figure legends are brief, yet informant enough for your readers to clearly understand. You want to also make sure that your element is close to where it's being mentioned in the body of your paper, and 
be sure to call out your element within the body of your paper and explain it as necessary. So this was just an overview of organization tips and writing tips for your results section. If you want a more in-depth guide on writing your research manuscript, be sure to check out our handbook on this very topic. Not only do we break down the different sections of a manuscript, but we also have other important tips to help strengthen your writing, your presentation, and information to just help you understand the process. Link to the handbook in the description below. Also, if you're new to this channel, we're Gold Biotechnology. Our channel is dedicated to life science topics such as protocol information, tips, how-tos, general information, and more. If this video was helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to keep seeing more content. Thanks for watching.